Digital age is just getting started. I know that sounds crazy with everything that's going on and has been going on. Unprecedented wealth has been created. The political system has been shaken up. The powers uh, have shifted. And well, we are still, as I said, we're just getting started. So let's talk about the next wave of our digital reality. And I picked three here, artificial intelligence, the metaverse with computer simulations and digital twins, and the blockchain. And I picked those three and I could have also picked others, but I think they are good representations of what covers all the boxes of what the digital age is about. In the digital age, the bit famously conceptualized by Claude Shannon single-handedly in 1948, he kicked off the digital revolution by inventing the digit, the bit, it consists of three different functions. There is transmission of information through space, we call it communication. There's transmission of information through time. We call it information storage. And according to nobody less but Albert Einstein, space and time, two, two sides of, of the same coin. And then there is transformation of information in space and time. We call that usually computation. And these three are also actually the ingredient of what a computation is. So it's computations all the way up and all the way down, all the way to society. Because if you think about what a computation is, we talked in another lecture about what a Turing machine is, the theoretical model of a general purpose computer, you can see that a computer, what a computer actually is, it consists of a storage tape. So information is stored in time and some way of a recipe, an algorithm to transform what is stored, to do something with the stored information, and a communication, a little read and write head that goes from the storage and carries out what the algorithm and moves back and forth between what is stored and, and what the algorithm suggests to do. So then on the, on the scale of society also, like we compute as society. And these ongoing innovations on this large scale change how society computes. It's kind of like the computing hardware is changing. When we had wall paintings and smoke signals and abacus calculator, the computing hardware is how we transformed on a societal scale information was very different than nowadays. And that always keeps on continuing. <laughs> Being in this job is very exciting. And it's a little bit annoying because you have to update these lectures all, all the time, but you always learn something new. And so I chose these three here because I think they're good representations of these three functions. The blockchain is without a doubt the most amazing storage solution, solution I have ever come across, studying the digital age now for, for, for over 25 years. And the blockchain is an amazing storage solution. It gives us a decentralized memory of what happened in the past, an immutable, in some sense, memory of what happened in the past. And that has vast implications for new applications. For example, the most obvious one being a property rights system. We can record who owns what. And yes, if you own currency, then call that cryptocurrency, but that's only one application. Many more innovations can happen there, and we will have to talk about the blockchain. It is really quite a big deal. Communication is also changing. And that is, well, the metaverse is just a phrase. We will talk much more about digital twins and computer simulations, which are the motor of what people call the metaverse. But the metaverse is used to refer to a three-dimensional representation of reality. And that makes sense. These processes here in our brains, they have evolved over many hundreds of thousands of years to optimize three-dimensional spaces, depth. That's what we see here in reality. It's only been 500 years since the printing press. Right, when was that? Like, yeah, that we, we look at a, a two dimensional, two dimensional interfaces. So 500 years is nothing in, in, for evolution. Like, not, that doesn't really, that is a blink of an eye. Nothing really changes. So it is natural as well for us to come around and say, like, hey, why do we continue to stare in these two dimensional books or screens? Why don't we take advantage of all this machinery that we have and, you know, 
adapt to three-dimensional digital environment. So that's the natural way to go. And it's, I think we will get there. There are a lot of hardware challenges and software challenges and we have to talk about it. So it might not go as fast as some people think it might go. But I, I think it makes sense that eventually we should represent information in a three-dimensional space or maybe even higher spaces, who knows? And then there's computation. And of course, here we will talk about artificial intelligence and artificial intelligence basically can be synonymous to machine learning for all that matters nowadays, which then for all that matters is synonymous to deep learning. And they are the transformers, the large language models as being one applications. The chat GPTs and the bards of the world, they had an amazing and are having an amazing impact on society. So we'll also have to talk about that. And that's what we actually start with. So we start with the other way around. We start with AI and deep learning and the transformer deep learning. So we go into that and what it is and what it does and what it is not and what it does not do. So we will have to talk about that. How does this machine, how does this learning actually happen? Then we talk about that we go towards the three-dimensional representation of reality with digital twin and societal digital twins and these simulations that we have ongoing, which some people refer to as the metaverse or web 3.0, the third generation of the web. And we can see how the web evolved towards more interactivity and more immersive experiences, basically. And then third of all, the blockchain, as I said, it's, it's a really big deal. So I will probably extend myself a little bit on that one. I'm very excited to go on this exploration together now. So let's let's get started.